If you're thinking about a long arm quilting machine, the Grace 21X Elite could be a really good option for you. The Grace Company makes awesome long arms and they make so many different customizable options for you. So the setup that I have today is going to be the Grace Evolution rolling frame and the Grace 21X Elite long arm quilting machine. This machine is an awesome free motion quilting machine. It's got 21 inches of throat space here, so it's nice and long, perfect for those giant quilts that we are notorious for piecing and then we have to figure out how to quilt it. Um, it has adjustable handlebars here, so you can actually disengage and rotate this handlebar to where is most comfortable for you. And it's got a screen that's very easy to understand. So let's talk about that screen a little bit. On the screen here, there's a lot of different options that are shown to me right away. So the first word that we see is precise. So on a free motion quilting machine, there's three different modes of stitch regulation. And what stitch regulation does is make sure that every single one of my stitches is the same size. So that if I go fast, the stitches are the same side as if I'm going really slow. Because usually when you go slow, the stitches are tiny. When you go fast, the stitches are really long. So it's really nice that this machine has a brain that helps me work through that without me having to think too hard about it. So there's three different modes, four different actually on this machine. So precise is where when I stop, the machine is gonna stop. That's where most of us start. So that's probably the mode I'm gonna use the most today. There's also going to be cruise mode, which cruise means the needle is gonna move at a consistent speed all of the time while I'm moving the machine. It's still gonna make sure that the stitches are the same length, but if I'm doing things like corners or trying to do pebbles, which are small little circles, it'll catch those stitches a little bit better for me. There's also manual mode. Manual mode makes me the regulator. So when I'm using manual mode, that means when I move fast, the stitches are big. When I move slow, the stitches are smaller. And then there's also a basting mode. I personally really like basting mode because when I get everything up on the frame, I can then baste the sides and the back of it to make sure that everything stays in place and all of my pieces are laying together correctly. So I'm gonna move us back to precision mode and we'll talk more about the screen. So on here, there's a play button. So I can do the play button on my handlebars or the play button on the screen in order to make it start. We're not gonna do that quite yet though. There's also stitches per inch. That's what SPI means. So that means uh, basically the length of the stitches. If it's four stitches per inch, it's gonna be smaller or larger stitches. If it's 15 stitches per inch, I hate seam ripping that. So I usually stick around 10 to 12. Um, there's also this little piece right here. So jog forward, jog backward. When I press this, what's actually gonna happen is it's gonna move my needle position just a little bit. You might be able to hear it clicking. So that kind of acts like a hand wheel on the front of the machine instead of, you know, vertically challenged me with short little arms trying to reach all the way back there. So right here, that makes your hand wheel right up in front, right where you can get to see it. There's also a single stitch. So that single stitch is great for picking up your bobbin thread when you're getting started. And then a needle up and down. So I can toggle it so that the needle is all the way down or all the way up so that I can move to the next point or make sure the machine doesn't move on me. Grace also has a toolbox built into the screen, which I really like this. There's a measuring function here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my needle back up. And on this measuring function, I can measure how big things are gonna be. So if I am doing sashing, I can measure how wide of a pantograph I wanna do for that sashing to make sure it goes all the way across. Also true for corners, for sides, for how big your block is. So this measure function is really nice if you don't wanna pull out one of your quilting rulers and measure it that way. The machine will do the work for us. In the toolbox, there's also a calculator. So a lot of us like to calculate how big of binding that we need for our quilt or how many stitches we think the project's gonna do. So the calculator, nice and easy. You don't have to go look for your phone or an actual calculator. It's right there on the machine. There's also a bobbin estimator. So what I can do with the bobbin estimator is I can tell it what type of thread I'm using, how full a bobbin is, and it will guess about how much is left on that bobbin. So you can see um, it believes I'm using finesse thread. 80 yards is about a full bobbin is what it's, uh, we have found out. 
And uh, according to this, I don't have very much thread get left, so I'm gonna have to wind that pretty soon, but that's okay. Uh -huh. And then, right here, there's also an edge warning, and this is something that's cool and kind of unique to Grace. So what the edge warning does is it makes it so that I map out where my area is on my machine and gives me a warning when I get too close. So a lot of times if we're doing a pantograph or doing loop-de-loops when we're free motion quilting, we'll end up flat tiring when the machine pulls all the way forward up here because we'll be doing loop de bunk and that's not great. So with edge warning, I can tell it to warn me at about a half an inch or a full inch away from the corner. So with edge warning, that is a awesome feature that's just built right into this machine. And last but not least, there's also a project button. So what this does is if I am quilting for a business or if I'm just curious how long one quilt has taken me to actually do the quilting, I can know exactly how long that project has taken me. So it tells me per project and per lifetime. So obviously this floor model that we've had, we haven't really reset this because they're both about the same but if i were quilting for a customer i'd be able to know how many stitches went into that project how many hours i was standing here working at the machine and it really is just a cool estimator that's not all that's on the screen though so we're almost done right here there's a little menu button and on the menu button there's the settings i just went help but we're going to go to settings first so settings so i can adjust the screen brightness I can also adjust the needle area brightness. So now you can see it's nice and bright by my needle, or I can make it really dim. So I'm gonna make it nice and bright so we can see a little bit better. There's also um, different settings on what to do. So on my needle stop right now, it's toggled up. I actually prefer that to be down, so I'm gonna change that. I can also turn the sounds of the machine off. I like them on because if I'm going too fast, I'd rather her tell me than me just guess. Um, the overspeed light, so she'll flash her lights when I'm out running the stitch regulator. Edge warning sound, so when I get close to that edge, she does kind of yell at me a little bit, which to me is great because that lets me know I'm about to do that flat tire. <laughs> edge warning light, it'll also flash the lights for me. And then the click sound when I click things on the screen. I can also do inches versus centimeters. I usually work in inches, so we leave it there. And last but not least, there is a help section on here. So on here, if I'm doing this, it will actually give me a quick tutorial on how to thread my machine. So I can press one and it shows me exactly how things should be threaded. And I can go next, then I can go next. So if you are stumped at two o'clock in the morning, you can come to your machine and ask her for help and she'll give you a quick rundown of what you need to do. Without any further ado though, let's play with the actual free motion quilting of this. So as we talked about earlier, I've got it on precise mode. I am getting ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do my single stitch to pick up my bobbin thread, get it out of the way. I'm gonna to toggle my needle down and then we're gonna free motion quilt. Okay, so you can see I did kind of a weird little loop-de-loop -loop and I made sure to go a little bit slower and a little bit faster so that you could see what is going on. But as soon as I stopped in precise mode, the machine stopped. Let's go to um, cruise mode so that you can kind of see what I meant when the needle just constantly goes. So I'm gonna go up, hit select mode, and then I'm gonna do cruise. So you can see when I slow down, it continues stitching with me. So that's what cruise mode kind of looks like. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to manual mode. So I'm gonna move here, go manual mode, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start. So remember on manual mode, I'm the regulator. So I'm gonna make some exaggerated motions to show you what we mean with that. All right, here we go. And you can hear that the machine made a slightly different sound as it was running because it's making me be the regulator, not the machine. 
But you can see right here when I went really fast how big those stitches went. They were almost basting stitches. And how when I went a little bit slower, you can see my sharp corners and my curves. So it's actually pretty cool. And especially for art quilters, manual mode is really nice. Basting mode, on the other hand, is pretty self-explanatory. You can select small, medium, or large. And then I'm going to bring it towards me when I do this one. So now you can see it making a stitch about every inch and a half. So it's regulating those basting stitches, so it makes it easy for me to tear it out. If you are thinking about a long-arm quilting machine like the Grace 21X Elite, I definitely recommend everybody likes to do their research when they do this stuff. So check it out on our website. Or you can even come in the store and give it a try yourself because really holding a long arm quilting machine in your hands and driving it is one of the best ways to figure out if it's the right fit for you or not. As always, if you have any questions, contact us. We've got a great comment section below or we've got great support. So call the number on our website and we will see you next time. I hope this helps you narrow down some of your choices for long arm quilting. Hey guys, here at Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum, we always like to make sewing fun start here. And so we appreciate you watching this video. If you want to see more like it, check out this playlist. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know what is happening here. So we'll see you guys next time.